Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. The title of our group presentation is COVID-19 Quarantine Center Management System. First, I would like to introduce uh, our group members. I'm Wal Muhammad Nazrin bin Wanawi and others my group member is uh, Muhammad Hafiza bin Hassan and Mi Ahmad Zahir bin Mi Abdul Rahman. Introduction my group project. For this project, we have to using some function in the Java technology such as encapsulation and data hygiene. Encapsulation is the bundling of the data and behavior together in the class Why data hygiene is the programmer need to provide uh, as a control on data. Besides that, inheritance and aggression also we using on our project at least two in the to in class relation. As we know, inheritance is to extend the functionality of the class by creating a subclass required aggression is to create new functionality by taking other class and combining them into the into a new class. Lastly, we have carried out our project using the functions such as a polymorphism and abstraction hygiene. In this project, we decide to create one system, one system by using Java programming, which is, is COVID-19 quarantine center management system. The project required us to relate the current situation, which is the pandemic of COVID-19, and our system will be based on our knowledge from object-oriented programming class. The aim of our system is to track the doctor, patient, vaccine, level laboratory and the facilities in terms of the of, ma of management system in this project they are six java file is is uh, doctor dot java patient dot java medical dot java lab dot java facilities dot uh, java and hospital management hospital management dot java the basic idea for our system is to display list of doctor and patient it also can modify the list uh, for increase the number of doctor and patient as well. The system also will display the quantity of the stock vaccine in store. The user no, no need to log in for ID to view the information or to the modify information. All of the system will be present in the graphical user interface. Our project also provide one full report that include with objective, scope, workflow of the system, UML class, diagram, use case diagram, and documentation, which will in, stay in the detail for each respective uh, section. Scope and objective of the system. Objective of the system to implement the encapsulation and data hiding, implement the inheritance and aggression, implement the polymorphism, and lastly, implement the abstraction uh, handling. Scope of the system to know the information available at a hospital is more detailed such as the doctor who are on uh, duty and also information about the patient who are awarded in the hospital. Information on COVID-19 vaccine is also provide more detail on cost and quantity. Make it uh, easier for the user who want to know information uh, more quickly and easily and accurate. Propose of the system. The purpose of this system is to help user who were previously confident with the data and they had. This is because most of the data they have they find is not very accurate and complete. As a result of the rupture of the COVID-19, many patients had to be hospitalized and therefore also uh, required staff to treat uh, such as patients. Therefore, it's, it's required complete information or data for us to know the, in the hospital. The purpose of the system is also to process the information collected by user. By using programming, the system will be applied easily and quickly uh, to the user. Flowchart of the system. The flowchart of our COVID-19 quarantine sector management system 
this system uh, will determine whether the user want to check uh, want to check up for the ability or want to insert new data entry to the system if you if user want to check up for the ability of the doctor patient vaccine uh, laboratories and the facilities at the quarantine center the user can view the system as many as possible until they exit uh, the program if the user want to add new entry into the system, the user need to insert new data according to the, to the class uh, that available. The data that insert will be permanently being saved in the system. Use case diagram. Use case diagram for quarantine COVID-19 management uh, system is showing the use case diagram for the system. The use case diagram used to show uh, the specify of the contact of the system and act uh, as the scope of the system. In this uh, development of the system, the diagram will consist of the an actor which uh, associate with uh, five use case. First user, we have a relationship with the five use case as shown as uh, in the picture. The all of five use case we include update as additional uh, functionally, functionally and they it we show the all information after we take an action. UML class diagram. The UML class diagram for quarantine COVID-19 management system, which are doctor.java, patient.java, medical.java, laboratory laboratory.java, facility.java, and hospital management.java. OOP concept implement in the quarantine COVID-19 uh, management system. In this scope aviation, uh, we create a new class which is uh, composed of existing class which uh, in Hamilton, we create a new class which uh, is based on a uh, class with some modification subclass in the java language class can be derived from the class thereby inheriting field and method from those class Ag aggregation uh, create new functionality uh, by taking other class and combining them into a new class attach a common interface in new class for interop interoperability with uh, other code uh, the polymorphism. The poly, uh, polymorphism is uh, one of the core concepts in uh, OOP language. In this graph, the concept uh, that different class can be used uh, with the same interface. Each of these class can uh, provide its own implementation of the interface. The abstraction. Data abstraction is uh, the property of virtual of which uh, only the essential details are displayed to the user. The trivial or the non-essential unit are not displayed to the user. Data abstraction may also be defined as the process of identifying only the required uh, characteristic of an object ignoring the irrelevant detail. The properties and behavior of an object uh, differentiate differentiate in the in from the other uh, object similar type and also have in a classic classific classification and uh, grouping the object output of the system now i will i would like uh, to show the output of the system first the main menu will be the first interface that present uh, for the user. User can directly choose option that displays by insert a number like the one for the doctor, two patient, three vaccine, four laboratories and five facilities. Okay, this is a doctor section. In this section, user we have two options whether to add new entry or the view existing doctor list. In this session, user need to insert ID name, uh, specific special specialization, 
socking time and room number for a new doctor. Doctor list. In this section, list of doctor will appear including new entry doctor. Patient section. In this section, user will have two options whether to add new entry or add view existing fashion, fashion list. Now, I would like to show you add new entry for the fashion section. In this section, user need to insert identity card number, name, sex, symptom, uh, COVID status, and age for the new patient. In this section, list of fashion will appear including new entry fashion. Vaccine uh, section. In this section, user will have to option uh, whether to add new entry or view existing vaccine list. Add new entry for vaccine section. In this section, user need to insert name percent of uh, effective dose requires cost and the number of unit uh, of new vaccine. Vaccine list. In this section, list of uh, vaccine will appear including new entry vaccine. Laboratory uh, section. In this section, user will have two options whether to add new entry or view existing lab, lab list. Facility section. In this section, user will have two options whether to add new entry or view the existing facilities. Add new entry for the facilities section in this section, user need to insert facility for new facilities. This is a user manual for the COVID quarantine center management system. The user able to view doctor that available at the COVID quarantine center. The user can insert new doctor that assigned at the COVID COVID quarantine center into the system. The user able to view at existing uh, patient at the COVID-19 quarantine center. The user can insert new quarantine patient at the COVID-19 quarantine center into the system. The user able to view vaccine that available at COVID-19 quarantine center. The user can insert the new of vaccine to into the system. The user able to view lab uh, completeness that available at the COVID-19 quarantine center. The user can insert new lab completeness at the COVID-19 quarantine center into the system. The user able to view facilities that available at COVID-19 quarantine center. And lastly, the user can insert new facilities that arrive at the COVID-19 quarantine center into the system. Conclusion Justification The system that developed has ability, ability to reduce increasingly uh, challenging with the admission of more patients at COVID-19 quarantine center. Also, to avoid poor patient management and less than uh, this desirable condition at the uh, quarantine center. Since pandemic outbreak, a lot of patients were uh, facing a horrible experience at the quarantine center. Many patients was assigned to have a bed that was already occupied and was, uh, as, was asked the, to find the empty bed by themselves. Patients could uh, develop mental health problems they are because of the environment. This is a no supervisor, no enough facility, and no proper management. The system has served its purpose by solving the problem that mentioned. Also, we, have, we hope that the pandemic outbreak will disappear and normal life can be returned again. Thank you.